I mean, and I'm still just oily. I threw that little lip stuff on, tried to put a little batter on them. Just... I mean, like, but am I allowed to say melanin popping? Because most of the people that be saying it, they be brown skin. But, like, really, who does this? Who does that? The Bible says, touch not mine anointed. Touch not mine anointed. You will fall dead. You fall dead. Okay, y'all, so this is so rigged up that I'm gonna have to do this super fast. So I went and threw some like mascara on, little lips on and everything just so I can come out here and like just chat with y'all for a minute. So I hope y'all don't mind. Um thing number one. Let's let's go with Fantasia first. Um, all you Christians who are hating on her because she had on a leotard and the Lord moved on her and the spirit moved through her. Y'all, y'all really was mad though because of what she had on. But let's, let's think about it. When you go to church with that skimpy little dress on, we see and do the same amount of things that we saw with Fantasia. When you go to church... When all everything's showing, and shoot, when you go to church and you just had on a leotard on your Facebook, we seen it. It doesn't make a difference whether it's there in person or not. We saw it. So it doesn't, that doesn't matter. So let's say, for instance, um, you see this minister and he's out in public because he's with his family and him and his wife and his kids are swimming in the swimming pool. I mean, and then something happens and he has a moment where he has to really minister to someone. Are you going to judge him because he's not wearing a shirt? Are you going to judge his wife because she's ministering to another mom who may need ministering? Well, okay, anyway, more locally. Um, I'm seeing a lot of these people who are supposed to be so positive doing so many negative things and as a christian and i'm not afraid to say that that's where i identify myself so many of us do things like use people for their gifts and talents and then monopolize off of them or do things like hmm they're gifted in this and we need them because no one else is um going to put forth these efforts like this person will or this person has such a great gift for instance it could be i'm gonna say it could be hair braiding and you're very very good at hair braiding and a lot of times you'll find yourself in a situation where someone may be needing um their hair done and they want to underpay you because you're not you're not in a shop and you're doing hair out of your house so they feel like they don't have to pay you as much, but does that make your gift any less special? Now, it may be less comfortable, so if you personally feel like it's worth docking your pay because you're not allowing them to that full comfort of a salon, then cool. But some people don't even find salons comfortable, so they take advantage of those type of situations. I mean, and it, it goes all the way around. You got people who take advantage of those young girls who can braid very well, and then they put them in a shop and underpay them or overcharge them commission or booth rent. It happens all the time. Or tell them that they're going to get X, Y, Z out of while they're working there, and then they don't get it. I mean, we've all been there. We've been in situations where people just got over on us and I mean it's easier to understand when it comes from somebody who you don't view as um, supposed to be a Christian or a Christian leader and that's just that makes it so much harder so my advice to anyone who is entering into the beauty business or if you're already in the beauty business and you're trying to figure out how to get to your next level because we're always always trying to figure out how to get to the next level i'm still trying to figure out how to get to my next level and everybody's next level is not the same you guys know what you're worth know your worth know your business know what is expected know what you should expect 
from an employer. Know what you should expect from yourself. Know what you should expect from your client and make sure they know what to expect. Expectations, expectations, education, everything about anything in life is always going to go back to education. So always make sure you know what you know. Know yourself, know your self-worth, know your business, know your strengths, and know your weaknesses. And learn how to overcome them. Learn how to ask for help when you need it. Learn how to not be afraid of advancement. Really, sometimes it takes doing something completely out of your norm and out of your comfort zone. But you have to do what you have to do. A lot of the things I do are so out of my comfort zone, but because I know I have a mission and I have certain people to reach, I have to do the things I do. It's several days when I'd be like, listen, like tonight, um, it is late. Why am I doing a video? Because somebody needs the comfort. Somebody needs to know that some of these things are just not, they're not right. And they probably have a feeling about it. And they just need that confirmation, maybe. <laughs> so, that was thing number two. Let me think. Things, number, things, things, things I wanted to talk to y'all about. Things I wanted to talk to y'all about. Mm hmm Because I felt I need to rant. Because, I don't know, something is going on right now. Um, Man, what else I want to talk to y'all about? Because I'm really over that whole election stuff. Like, I really don't really have much I want to say about that that um i was supposed to be doing some covers for some people and yeah, i kind of lost my list so um if you remember what that song was i know i'm supposed to be doing that song for jamorian but jamorian it just girl I, i'd be toe up i'm working on it though really working on it but i have more videos coming so um some of those will be more related to other issues but um once again as uncomfortable as some of this may be, I have to do it. So, you guys have a good night. Love y'all. See y'all next time.